Yeah, the storm center, unfortunately, is coming right along the southern coast of Jamaica. Now, Jamaica is also very mountainous terrain. So with that terrain interaction and some wind shear on the western side, what you see are the brighter cloud top showing those whites right around the center. They are starting to get disrupted because of the terrain and wind shear. So it is continuing to weaken. Unfortunately, though, it is right over the island of Jamaica that it is doing that. So that's where they're getting some of those strongest winds in about 140 mile an hour. Now it is moving away quickly at 20. Boy, that forward speed really has not changed as it is running along the southern end of a big upper ridge. That will continue as it moves toward the Yucatan, weakening further and likely will emerge into the Bay of Campeche southwestern Gulf as a tropical storm. Really the only difference from the new uh, model, or the, the new forecast from the Hurricane Center is that the Hurricane Center does think it could become a category one or back to a one right before it moves inland somewhere in northeastern Mexico or south Texas. A lot of wind, rain will be the main issues there, but at least it will be a weakening storm. That wind shear on the northern and western side of it will continue to plague the storm over the Yucatan. Notice this big upper low as it moves toward Mexico. That wind shear is still going to be there. Might let up a little bit just before landfall, but enough that it'll keep it as a weaker storm once inland over Mexico or once near the coast of Mexico and South Texas. Beyond Barrow, we're still watching Invest 96. The models kind of split on exactly what the future of this may be. Hurricane Center maintains a low chance of developing, but when we look at both the Euro and GFS models, they also kind of differ. The GFS is in red, the Euro is in green. Notice they kind of keep maybe some semblance of that surface low toward Jamaica, not nearly as strong. And then as it continues toward the Yucatan, really nothing there. We start to see maybe the GFS trying to fire up something as it continues toward the uh, Bay of Campeche and almost in the exact same location. Not to say this would be an organized or name storm, but certainly looks to be more of a rainmaker. We'll watch this closely. What would be amazing is that if this were to be named, this would be the fourth making a landfall potentially in almost the exact same location. Alberto barrel is on its way toward Mexico. Chris and possibly our D storm could all be making their way toward the east coast of Mexico. It's just as a bullseye on them this year, unfortunately.